We're going to rebuild the overflow preventer from the expansion tank today. I have all the parts laid out on the drawing that comes with the kit. The kit has assembly instructions. What we've done is we've disassembled our overflow preventer. We have the parts laying here in our work area and now we're going to start assembling it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to reassemble the button that goes into the side that resets the overflow preventer. We're going to put our o two O-rings in. We're going to lube them up and then reinsert this into the body of the overflow preventer. Next, we're going to replace the check wafer and O-ring and the uh, wafer seal on the top of the section of the overflow preventer. First, we're going to put the sealing washer on the bolt that you adjust it with. Put a little lube on that. Screw that into the top. <laughs> now we're going to apply a little lube so we can put our O-ring in to seal the cap. We're going to put a little lube on our wafer and install it into the body. Then we're going to reassemble our spring and spring stop and screw the top on and seal it. Okay, now we've got two more O-rings to install. One in the bottom that seals the dart if the dart gets shoved into there. Takes a little bit of finesse, but it'll go in there. You just got to be patient with it. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to reinstall our large O-ring on the base. And then we're going to screw the two body parts together. And that's the overflow preventer assembly rebuilt.